Hello everyone. I'm Sureka Singh. Today I'm here to highlight and discuss a very delicate topic with you all. Hope you know and remember how to take care of the older members of the family. Not only older members, we should be ready to help anyone who is needy. So, let's begin with our topic sensitivity towards others but first of all you must know what is sensitivity to be sensitive simply means being able to sense things sensitivity means aliveness being in harmony with life in the picture here you can see the characteristics of a highly sensitive person for example they are imaginative, they are highly creative, they are great listeners, they have a huge heart, they feel for others, they easily get hurt and so on. Our topic sensitivity towards others has been broadly divided into two parts, namely physically challenged children and socially deprived children. Now, who are physically challenged children? They are those children whose physical organs don't respond normally. They are also known as special children. They may have problems related to communication, perception, reflex movements, etc. These children require special skills to eat, read, move around, express themselves and use the toilet. They also need a positive attitude of the people around them, a suitable infrastructure to take care of their needs, adaptive devices and therapeutic services for mobility, therapists for guidance and lots of love and care. Well, we are talking about special children, so we cannot skip an important term that is inclusive education as it helps the special children to overcome shyness and hesitation. Inclusive education refers to a model wherein students with special needs spend most or all of their time with normal students. It helps to develop their confidence and understanding. Inclusive education is not only beneficial for special children, but it benefits normal children too, as they develop an understanding of the needs of special children. They develop caring and sympathetic attitudes towards them. There are several examples of special children who made it big. One among those was Helen Keller. She was the first deaf-blind person to get a Bachelor of Arts degree. Later, she became a political activist, lecturer, humanitarian and wrote over 12 books and many articles. Now, let's move on to the second part of our topic that is socially deprived children. Socially deprived children are the ones who are deprived of the right to live a decent life. They lack opportunity of education and a life of dignity. They belong to homes where the parents are unable to earn enough money due to illness, unemployment, poverty or illiteracy. These children are forced to earn by rag picking carrying loads, cleaning utensils in tabas, or by begging to feed themselves and their families. Our constitution has special provisions regarding this. Our government has made efforts by giving them free education, books, uniforms and stipends. Free and compulsory education has been made compulsory for the children between the age group of 6 to 14 years. So, 
Now it becomes our responsibility to bring smile on everyone's face. A society can develop only when everyone is able to enjoy basic needs of life. That's all for now. Do watch the video that follows and take care.